Hi everyone, I'm Ashley with Sky House Yoga and today we're going to be doing about a half an hour, 35 minute yoga practice for expecting mothers. Uh, I really wanted to put together a video that really created a nice bond for mothers with their babies and I found that in my pregnancy doing this with deep breathing and also just hand to baby and hand to heart um, in a lot of postures really creates that nice connection. So our practice today is going to be focused on not only making this connection between ourselves and our babies, but also um, preparing our bodies for the beautiful process of childbirth um, so that our childbirth experience can be very calm um, and very comfortable and filled with ease. So we'll start with one hand on our baby and one hand on our hearts. And just take a moment here to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. And just feel the connection between your heart and your baby's heart. Take one more really deep breath in and really fill the baby's home with lots of space. Fill your own heart with lots of room. And then exhale. We'll then open our eyes and then take the fingers together so that all finger, all 10 fingertips touch. We call this Hakini Mudra. And it's a hand position that helps us to stay focused. Um, it helps support concentration. So for something like childbirth where we're gonna need to be very present, um, you know, just taking your hands into this position at any time during your birthing process um, can be very, very helpful. So we'll use this mudra to start to open up the chest. So with the 10 fingertips touching, use an inhale and draw your elbows back. Open up your chest and lift your chin. And then as you exhale, round the spine back, take the 10 fingertips to touch, bow your head to your heart. And inhale again, the chest opens, shoulder blades draw back. You should feel a really nice stretch across the chest. And then exhale, round the spine back and bow the head. We'll do this a few more times and we're just increasing the flexibility of the spine. Also opening up the shoulders and the neck. In pregnancy, as we get further along, a lot of the weight of our body gets pulled forward. So to take these back bending arches can feel really, really nice for the chest and for the spine. Exhaling, rounding back. Let's take one more. Inhale, chest moves forward. Shoulder blades squeeze towards the spine. And then exhale, round back. Then from here, just take your palms together at the heart. And use an inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Shoulders are relaxing down the back. And then exhale, take a stretch over to the right. Your right hand comes down to the floor. The left arm reaches up and over. And then inhale, lift back through center. Exhale, the left hand comes down, the right hand reaches up and over. And inhale. And think about getting really long, creating more room for your baby and for your spine. Exhale, stretching the side ribs. And we'll do it one more time to their side. And then inhale, coming all the way up. And exhale, taking the hands to the heart. We'll do a few little wrist stretches. Um, sometimes in pregnancy, we can get what's called pregnancy-caused carpal tunnel, um, just from excess pressure and weight um, across the chest. So if you just take your right hand forward, we'll take the thumb and stretch it back. And you can use deep breaths here. So inhale and exhale. Moving to your middle finger, inhale, exhale. Moving all the way across, we're going to be doing some poses on our hands. Exhale. So we want to have nice openness through the wrists. And exhale. And then turn your fingers down and just give them a little pull and a shake. Just like that. And then take the hand next to your hip and just with the same, uh, kind of using gravity, let your fingers flick down towards the floor. And we'll just the same thing on the other side. So just starting with the thumb. And then use the breath, so inhale and exhale. 
inhale, exhale. Moving right across. And feel that nice stretch all the way through the wrist joint. And even if you don't have carpal tunnel, this is just a really nice thing to do because you're gonna be holding your baby <laughs> and you're gonna want your wrist to feel really good and strong. And then just pull and shake. And then take that hand and just flick it down in the direction of gravity. So now we're ready to change positions to hands and knees. I recommend having a blanket. So when you come to your hands and knees, you can take your blanket, open it up, and just place it so you have a nice cushioned surface underneath the knees. And we're gonna start with a movement called cat and cow, and we're going to add a breath that's called feather blowing breath, which is a great breath to practice during labor. Um, so when you feel your, uh, your waves, your pressure waves coming through, you can use this breath, exhaling through the mouth with curled lips. So it looks like this. We're gonna inhale through the nose, round the spine up. And then exhale, the lips come into an O shape. And just blow the breath out. Inhale, round the spine up, head bows to the heart. This should feel really good in your upper back. And then exhale. Do a few more. Inhale, rounding up. So you want to think that there's like a feather just a few inches away from your face. And as you exhale, you're just very gently blowing that feather away. And let's do a few more. Try to keep your baby hugging up towards your spine, even as your belly's drawing towards the mat. Last ones. The belly stays lifted, baby stays lifted. Let's find neutral. So now you're in a flat back position. Let's take the right toes straight back and just press back through the heel. And you should keep your baby lifting. That's gonna keep your core muscles nice and strong. And the crown of the head reaches forward. The elbows are slightly bent. So just take a few breaths here and feel that nice stretch down the back of the leg. And then let's switch sides. We'll bring the left leg back, toes tucked under, your heels extending back while the crown of your head reaches forward and the baby's lifted towards the spine. So take a few more deep breaths. And then you can lower that knee down. Let's just shake the hands out. Sometimes it can feel good just to give the wrists a little bit of a break. And now we're gonna do a little bit of core strengthening and we, when we talk about the core, it's not just the abdominal muscles, but it's also the back muscles. So as you lift your baby up towards the spine, the toes are tucked under, draw your right leg straight back, and then think about rolling your inner thigh towards the sky and your outer hip rolls down, and then keep lifting your baby because your lower back is gonna want to arch. <laughs> so the baby stays lifted. And then we're gonna just see if maybe we can inhale, press back through the heel. Maybe the left hand comes forward, it might not. So you can just play with either one. And take one more big breath in. And then exhale, let's take the left hand back to the mat, draw the right knee in. And then inhale, make a big circle out to the side and around. And this is really good for the hips. It's also working the core muscles. So inhale, big wide circle. Exhale, knee draws up towards the chest. And one more time. And then we'll take the right knee down. Switch to the left leg, left leg draws back and then lift your left leg up. The inner thigh rotates towards the sky, the outer hip drops down. And you can just keep working your baby, lifting it up towards the spine, supporting the low back. Maybe try reaching the right hand forward. Breathe. Feel the strength in your body right here. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, just let your right hand come down. Keep the left leg back, we're gonna take a big breath in. Exhale, draw your knee towards your chest, and then we're gonna do our circle. So inhale, open the knee. Exhale, circle it in. Inhale. Exhale, keep that little hug to your baby. And then the knee comes down. Now let's give our wrists a little bit of a break so the hips come back to the heels, and then just turn your palms to face up. And we'll inhale, open the hands wide. And then exhale, make fists. Inhale. 
exhale. And one more. Now from here, turn your palms down. We're gonna come up to our hands and knees. And then walk your hands forward about three or four inches just to give yourself a little more room. And you can keep your knees a little wider than the hips. The toes then tuck under, and we're gonna inhale and come up into downward dog. So as you inhale, lift your knees, lift your hips, look back between your legs, and then just press your hips back. So think about stretching the mat long and pressing the heels back. And you can take your feet a little bit wider to make room for your baby. This is also a great position if, you, if your baby is breached or needs to be flipped. <laughs> Um, this posture can help give more, give more room so your baby can turn around. So we'll take a deep breath in and we're going to exhale, walk the hands back towards the feet and then find your way into a squat. So the first level of a squat, you can have your elbows on your thighs. You can also bring your hips a little lower, elbows to the insides of the knees. And you can also bring the hips all the way down where the chest then lifts up. Just take a few deep breaths here. Relax your pelvic floor. Squats are really, really good in preparing the body for an easy, comfortable birth. Now really press down through your feet. If you need to, you can also take your hands to your hips and then inhale come up to standing. So let's take our blankets and move our blankets out of the way. So we have our full mat available. And we're gonna to come to stand on the long side of our mat. So you may need to change your mat so that you can still see the TV and also um, have this space. So you'll take your hands to your heart and we're just gonna inhale, lift the arms up overhead. And then exhale, step your feet a little bit wider and swan dive forward. Let your head hang. And then inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then exhale, we're gonna fold. And so you're gonna probably wanna heel and toe your feet a little wider so that your hands can come down to the mat. From here, let's inhale and take the right arm and lift it all the way up. Exhale, take the hand back down. And moving to the other side, inhale, twisting and opening. And twisting is really nice for the upper spine. So twists are generally not recommended in the first trimester um, of pregnancy, at least not deep twists. But in the second and third trimester, we can twist and open from the upper back as long as we're not twisting the pelvis. And usually the baby's big enough to where that's not really possible. So this usually feels really good for the upper back. So let's just do one more to each side. And then we're going to walk our hands over and frame our foot. And we're now in a lunge. So we'll take our back knee down. So I have my left foot forward. You may have your right, that's okay. And then inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. And then exhale, you're going to Interlace your fingers and take your hands behind your head. You can keep your toes tucked under on your back foot for balance, or you can bring the toes flat. And then from here, scoop your tailbone under so you hug your baby back towards your spine. And we're gonna take a little bit of an upper back bend. So you can shift your hips forward and then curl your upper spine back. And this is a really nice way to open up the chest. You're also strengthening the legs here. So really press down through your front foot and then the top of your back foot. And then take a big breath in and a big breath out. Let's take our hands down and you can bring them to the inside of that foot. Usually it's a little easier as your baby grows to take them to the inside. And then lift your back knee up and we'll walk our way right over to the other side, taking the back knee down. Toes can be tucked or untucked. Hands can press into the thigh to help your upper body. And then inhale, lift the arms up. Try clasping the opposite way, so the opposite thumb is on top. And take the hands behind the head. 
Remember to root down so that you're using the strength of your legs to ground you and to feel more stable. Your hips can shift forward, the belly draws back, and then start to curl the upper spine back. Take a few deep breaths. And then inhale, exhale, release. Tuck your back toes under. Let's lift the back knee up again. We're gonna walk to center. And just inhale, lift your heart. And then exhale, fold. <laughs> and you can always bend your knees a little bit here. And this just helps to take the weight off of the pelvis and off the uterus so that the baby kind of floats up a little bit. And let's take one more breath here. Inhale, lift your chest up, walking your hands forward. Let's go back to the first side. So now we're gonna work on balance a little bit more. So squeeze your inner thighs together, press your hands into your front thigh, and you're gonna lift your chest up. Then your hands go to your hips, and just try to turn your hips to square them towards the short edge of your mat. This is more challenging, so if you feel like this is really unstable, you can always take your back knee down. But otherwise, lift the back knee up. And we're gonna inhale, lift the arms up overhead. And then exhale, lower the hips and lower the elbows. So we're really working some good strength through the legs. Inhale, fingers lift up. Exhale, palms turn forward and the elbows come down. Inhale, palms turn to face each other. Belly lifts, crown lifts, and exhale. Let's do one more. And if you're on your back knee, you can still do this movement with the arms. Now take your hands to your hips and ground the back heel down. So now our hips are gonna open towards the wide edge of the mat. The arms come out. This is called warrior two. It's a very strong, grounded position. So just feel the strength in your legs. And then let's take our left hand to our babies, or the back hand. And then just inhale, take the top arm up and over. Take a few breaths here. And then inhale, back to your warrior. And now take your front hand to your baby and let the other hand come up and over. And just take some deep breaths into your baby's home. Feel that nice connection that you share. And inhale, arms back out. We'll turn the back toes forward. We're gonna go right to the other side. So hands will come to the hips for stability. And we're gonna turn now, these are my, my right toes to this side. So just going to the other side of your mat. Tailbone scoops under, arms lift up. Inhale, the hips lift. Exhale, the hips lower. And again, this can be done on the back knee. So inhale, arms lift. Exhale, elbows lower or in a high lunge. Inhale, hips lift, and exhale, hips lower. So let's just do a few more. So just feel how strong you are, how capable you are of having a nice, easy, relaxing childbirth. And one more time. And then let's take the hands to the hips, ground the back heel, and we're gonna find that same position, warrior two on the second side. So you're just letting your hips open, you're relaxing the pelvic floor, but staying tall through the spine. And then take your back hand to your baby, and inhale, take the top arm up and over. You can sink your hips a little lower if that feels okay. And then inhale, warrior two. And exhale, your front hand comes to your baby. Top arm comes up and over, taking deep, smooth breaths. And then inhaling, coming back. And now straighten your front leg and turn the toes forward. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, we're gonna draw the heels in towards each other and take the hands to the heart. We call this goddess squat. So we'll take the arms out now palms up. So imagine you're holding like two big bowls of water. And we're going to inhale 
and straighten the legs, press the arms up, and then exhale, lower the hips, elbows come down. And just do that a few more times. Really getting nice circulation through the pelvis, getting circulation to the hips. And this time, if you wanna bring it to the next level, take it a little bit deeper. As you come up, you can try lifting your heels, and then as you come down, you can lift your heels. Inhale, come up, lift the heels. Exhale, come down, lift the heels. Try that one more time. Good, all right, hands to the hips. Inhale, straighten your legs. Turn your toes forward, heel and toe, heel and toe back to center. Your legs should be very warm and happy right now. Close your eyes and bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. And twice more. So the next exercise we're gonna do is called intense sensation. And this is something that was taught to me in Kundalini Yoga by Gurmukh. And it's the practice of um, kind of riding out an intense sensation in your body by really using your mind and using your breath. And this is really important during labor that we have a focus, that we know that the pulsations are finite, <laughs> that they do end. Um, and so it just really prepares the mind and the body and the breath. So we're going to come back down and take a seat. I recommend sitting on your blanket for this one. And you can find whatever comfortable position uh, feels best. Legs can be crossed. You can always just have one leg out too. The legs are you know, not as important here. But once you find a comfortable position, I'm gonna draw the arms out to the sides, curl the fingers in and point the thumbs up. And the breath is just gonna be uh, slow and deep, you know, just a regular classic breath. And we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna take our gaze to the third eye point. This is gonna be like our focus point right here at the center of the forehead. So we're gonna do a two minute. So, you know, typically our birthing waves are, um, you know, they can last anywhere from 60 seconds to 90 to, um, you know, sometimes they can go up to two minutes. So we're going to do a two minute um, exercise and the work is just to endure and try to stay with it and relax. So the movements are forward circles for the first two minutes. So you're just going to take long deep breaths, close your eyes and just make small circles forward movements with the hands. Try to relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. And you're gonna just start to feel some intense sensations and that's good. So I want you to just notice them as sensations. Just sensations. And the more you can relax, the easier that you'll find these circles um, and the, the more you know, comfort you can find in the movement. So even though you know, maybe you, you experience more and more sensation as time goes by, you also, as you relax, you can kind of dissipate the intensity a little bit. So we're about one minute in. We're gonna do about one more minute. Just do your best. If you really need to rest, of course you can. But try to work your way into staying with this for the full two minutes. Use your mind, focus on your third eye point, use your deep full breaths. Relax your jaw, relax the hips. Last 20 seconds. breath in, draw the thumbs up to touch, and exhale, let the hands come down. And just take a few moments here. So in between our birthing waves, um, we'll have a break, <laughs> we'll have a resting period. So just give yourself a few moments here just to rest and feel that good work that you did that brought you closer to uh, you know, bringing your baby into the world. 
And then we'll do this one more time. This time we're gonna do backward movements. So the arms come out, same position with the hands, fingers curl in and thumbs point up. And now the movements are backward. So we're doing backward circles. It's the same work, so your eyes are closed. You're gazing at the third eye point at the center of the forehead. And this time we're gonna use feather blowing breath. So you're gonna inhale through your nose and then exhale through circled lips. And inhale through the nose. Exhale, circled lips. And just like that feeling the sensations in the arms, but not becoming overwhelmed by them. So just noticing them as sensations, knowing that this movement will end. But for now, we're just gonna stay with it. We're gonna try to relax and even try to enjoy these sensations. about a minute through so we have one more minute to go and just feel how strong you are how much resiliency you have and my teacher would always say you know you can do anything for one minute so we have less than that try to relax the elbows relax the shoulders relax the jaw relax the hips Your arms are going to be so strong to carry your baby. And last 20 seconds. And then we're going to inhale and lift the thumbs all the way up to touch over the crown of the head. Exhale, hands come down and rest on the thighs, palms open. And then just take a few moments here with your eyes closed and just feel that gentle release. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms. And then take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And we'll do a few final stretches just to open up the hips, um, connect with our babies a little bit more before we come into a reclined position to rest. So we'll take the soles of the feet to touch. Um, they call this cobbler's pose because it's like taking uh, a shoe and a foot and placing them right next to each other. So we're gonna touch the feet in this way, hold on to your ankles and draw the shoulders back. If you bring your hands too far forward, you'll arch your spine. So let the hands come back a little bit. Give yourself plenty of room. And it's a very simple uh, pose here. We're just gonna simply inhale and lengthen, and then exhale, relax the groin muscles. And do that a few more times. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, relax the hips, relax the groin. And one more. And then let's take our right foot out to the side and bring your left foot in. Slide your right hand down to your right ankle, and then take your left hand to your left hip. We're just gonna open up the body. And inhale, take the arm all the way up, and exhale, circle it down. And inhale. Try to let your joints be soft. So, you know, when we're in our birthing time, we wanna just remember to stay really relaxed, to stay soft, stay present. Next time you inhale and lift the arm up, we're gonna exhale and take the hand all the way over the ear. And then maybe you can take your lower hand and just bring it to your baby. Breathe into your baby's home. And to come out, move slowly and inhale, lift up through both arms. And exhale, take your hands behind your hips just to support yourself as you extend the left leg and bring the right foot in. Left hand slides down to the ankle, right hand to the hip. The chest is opening away from the straight leg. And then use an inhale, lift the arm up. And exhale. Inhale, opening. Exhale, reaching. 
I'm thinking about like tracing the path of the sun through the sky as it goes underneath the earth, as it comes up over the horizon to noon, and then to sunset. And the next time the arm comes up and over the ear, you're just going to hold it in that position. And then see if you can slide your bottom elbow to your thigh and bring your bottom hand to your baby's home. Take some deep breaths here. And with an inhale, both arms lift, the chest lifts, exhale, hands come back. And just take the legs out and give them a little bit of a wiggle. From here, we're just going to come to a cross-legged position, and we'll take a gentle twist. So, when we're in pregnancy, I mentioned this before, uh, we really want to focus the twists on the ribs. So we're going to take the right hand back behind you, the left hand is going to come over to the right knee, and if you're more pregnant, um, I'm 33 weeks, so I'm going to keep my hand over here, it just feels better, but you may be able to take your hand all the way over to the opposite knee. But we're going to inhale and keep the pelvis and keep our baby pointing forward. And the, the twist actually just comes from the upper ribs. So my baby's still facing straight ahead, but my rib cage is twisting towards the right. And we can take a few deep breaths here. And then inhale back to center. And then exhale, take your left hand behind you. And again, maybe your hand comes here, but your baby stays facing forward, or your hand stays on your right knee, baby stays forward. And then inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, just the rib cage twist. So the baby still has lots of space, lots of room. So they come back to center. Let's tuck the chin in towards the chest. And then inhale, sweep the right ear towards the right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear to the left shoulder. And just do that a few more times. Feels really nice on the neck. And see if you can feel the stretch all the way up into the jaw, maybe up into the temples. We're winding down our practice now. Draw the chin in towards the center of the chest. Just roll your shoulders back and down a few times. And then inhale, let's lift the head. So our final position is Shavasana, which is our final relaxation. And um, there's a few ways that you can find your, your way into this in a very comfortable, um, in a comfortable way that you also feel supported. So I like to have a blanket that's um, a little bit more open, like this. I'm gonna grab two blocks. And if you're at home, you probably have pillows and other blankets, so certainly you can use those instead. But if you don't and you just have blocks, you're gonna take one block underneath your head so that way your shoulder doesn't get compressed. And you'll have the other block for in between your thighs. Now, if you had a blanket, um, you could roll it up and use a rolled blanket between your thighs or a bolster. But otherwise, we want to be laid on our left side. The head is lifted so the shoulder can open. And then we have something that's going to help us create space between the legs. And then here is the crucial part, is you're going to rock forward and then roll your baby up towards the sky and bring your hand to your baby. So this is going to keep the chest open while your hips are moving in one direction. So this is our Shavasana in pregnancy. And this is also a great position for sleeping. So if you have uh, a support behind you, a pillow behind you, that also can feel really nice. So we're just gonna lay here for about a minute and a half just to let our bodies rest. So close your eyes. Try to relax your hips, your shoulders, your jaw. your hand on your baby, maybe feel any movements that your baby's making. And just really savor this moment, savor this time that you have. Connecting to your body, connecting to your baby's body. And really 
really feel the, the power of this moment. So you begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your toes and fingers. And then roll your way kind of forward slightly so that your top hand can press into the mat. And then we're gonna inhale, take the black or blanket out from between your legs first, and then inhale, press your way up. And we'll just come back to a comfortable position. Let's take one hand to our babies and one hand to our hearts. And just take another moment here just to feel this connection that you share with your little one. Thank yourself for doing this practice to take care of your own body, to foster a really beautiful connection with your child. And also thank yourself for doing this wonderful work to prepare your body for the natural and useful time of childbirth. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Slowly open your eyes and I thank you for practicing today.